Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing something completely different. I'm going to be doing a different kind of video than what I usually do. Usually I do gaming videos. Today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how you can use Cheat Engine, the basic program Cheat Engine, to hack any amount of items that you want in Terraria. Uh, it's pretty easy, it's pretty simple to set up, it doesn't take much effort, and if you know what you're doing then it works out pretty well. It works out pretty well. So what we're going to go ahead and start to do is select single player. And here we have uh, my variety of characters that I already have. I've been playing this game for several years, so I have uh, all these characters started up. I actually beat the game. I maxed out several times. It's gotten boring. And so I'm going to go ahead and give you a warning here. If you use cheat engine too much, it will ruin the game for you. It won't, it won't cause any sort of malfunction in the game, if you're not careful at least. But it will cause the game to become boring, because you will already have done everything that's possible at some point. So here I have Bob. I'm gonna go ahead and select Bob since he has basic stats, nothing, nothing, or uh, nothing new, nothing really, just, just default stats. And I have him on soft core, and I have I, I did a test run to see if everything was working fine, and it is. So we're gonna go ahead and click play. And I've already set up a world called Bob's World. We're gonna go ahead and click that too. Okay, so that loaded pretty quickly, but we already have this world set up. This is a basic. Uh, start from scratch world. It's default. There is nothing here. It's completely empty and barren. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is to get this program to work, you have to uh, you have to have some amount of items in the game. You have to have some some number of items that you already have. You can't you can't use cheat engine. At least I don't think you can to spawn in items into the game. But what you can do is you can go ahead and have a certain amount of an item. And you could duplicate it as many times as you want. It, it only takes one try. It doesn't take several uh, retries. Once you get it set up, we're gonna go ahead and uh, use my superior copper. Okay, we should dive in. Okay. <laughs> so I have my forceful copper pickaxe and my no, I have my zealous copper pickaxe and my forceful copper axe. And we're gonna go ahead and chop down a tree to get some number of wood. It doesn't matter how much I have as long as I have more than one. Okay. okay so I have one acorn and 19 boreal wood. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up Cheat Engine. You want to already have it installed to get this to work, of course. All right, so click yes. You want to allow it to change, make changes to your device. That's that's optional, by the way. If you don't do it, though, if you click deny, then it'll just close the program. All right, so if you already do the tutorial, then you, you're, you're starting off great. Otherwise, I'll leave a I'll leave a link in the description for a tutorial on how to do uh, and how to use Cheat Engine and how to use it on basic games after this. Okay, so you want to go ahead and uh, open up the files and the process list. This is our applications that are already running, currently running. And we'll go ahead and select Terraria. Okay, so now it's attached itself to the game. Um, and now we're to go ahead and okay. So first, let me tell you how to use this. Here in the value bar, you're going to go ahead and put in any number of item that you already have. Like I said, I have 19 Boreal Wood, so I'm going to go ahead and put in 19. Alright, so it's going to scan the whole game for values of 19 that match that match my criteria. And I already have the criteria set up here by default. I'm going to go ahead and click first scan. Okay, so now you have a very large list of um, number 19 values here. And the way I, I'm going to go ahead and show you the way I usually do it. Uh, to me, it's simpler to do it this way. So now you have um, the list already pulled up. There's 71,199 results. It's going to be very hard to look through that later. So what we want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and open up my... Okay, I accidentally dropped it. <laughs> my bad. Okay, so... Hold on a second. Okay, I, I completely... Just hold on. Okay, I apologize for that. I had to go ahead and set up my own custom hotkeys because um, apparently, by default, uh, to open up the inventory, for my computer at least, it was escape and that wasn't working. So I went ahead and changed the hotkey. So now with the click of Z on the keyboard, I can go ahead and open up my inventory. And now what you want to go ahead and do is select one of that item. And I'm going to go ahead and place it in the trash. It doesn't matter what you do with it. Drop it, place it in the trash, whatever you want to do. Place it down. Okay, so now the value has suddenly changed from 19 to 18. And so it, that change will show up here. Sometimes it doesn't work and you have to go ahead and retry the process, which is a pain. And I know it is, so it, you just might want to be careful. Okay, so it's going to be impossible to find it by looking through this list alone. 
it's going to be next to impossible at least. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 18 because the value changed to 18. And I hope I'm going into depth enough to make this at least simple. So I'm going to go ahead and click next scan. Okay, so no items popped up, which is bad, which is an exact example of what I was warning about. So what I'm going to go ahead and do to fix this error, you can most you can easily go ahead and put it somewhere in your inventory. Usually if you put it in the uh, toolbar at the top, oh my bad, if you put it in the toolbar at the top, then it usually won't work. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is have it here, and I'm going to go ahead and put the value 18 back in. I'm going to go ahead and click new scan because nothing popped up. Alright, so now there's 64,000 results for it. To kind of shorten that list, I'm going to go ahead and take away one more. Go back here. Change it to 17. Next scan. Okay, exactly. That's that's perfect. Okay, so now I have one variable, one value of 17. Now watch this. You want to go ahead and double click it. And down here it will pop up. The address will pop up. And the type of uh, address will pop up. The 4 byte. It's 4 bytes. And you can go ahead and click active. If you want to, If you want to go ahead and... Uh, the active value, like selecting active, works best with trying to hack your health. If you click active on a value, then it will constantly change it to that number that you put in, the custom value. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, just to show you an example, is change this to 9999999. So see, now I have 9999999 wood, which is great for construction purposes. So now, after that... I'm going to go ahead and go back here, and I'm going to go ahead and change it to active so it's permanently changing no matter what I do. See? Okay, so now it's just continually changing. See? Like that. Just like that. That's what happens whenever you leave the active value on. So I'm going to go ahead and disable that. And so now I have uh, 999,999 boreal wood for whatever purposes I want to use them for. Uh, I have not been able to use Cheat Engine to actually hack the amount of uh, the amount of defense I have or any sort of stats like that, apart from mana and health. Mana, uh, you can select, you can sh it can show the value by hovering your mouse cursor over the mana star itself. It'll show you how much you have. Okay, so now I have 100 health. Hacking your health is a lot more difficult than it is hacking an item, and it requires perfect timing. And I'll probably get to that in another video. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you other things that you can do with this hack. So now I have um, Boreal Wood. I have Infinite Boreal Wood. And for whatever purposes I want to use it for at least. I'm going to go ahead and build some, a little something here. First I'm going to go ahead and kind of construct something along these lines here. Okay, I like, this. I like the design of this wood because it looks very neat. It's just a very fashionable design and it's very easy to work with, and it actually, it actually just looks really nice. nice. Okay, so as you see now, I have, I'm going to go ahead and change it back to active, so no matter how many I place down, it will constantly stay at that number. See? Watch this. I'm going to go ahead and just, hold on. See? I'm just placing down an infinite amount of wood, and the number never changes. It just stays the same. Now this is a very useful hack, like I said, if you're in, if you're wanting to construct something, you don't want to have to take the time to go constantly mine resources, but it can also help you get a, a step up in the game. Um, it works very well, it, it only works on the PC thus far, and I think you can also use it on the Android, I'm not sure about that, maybe I'll do a tutorial on that after this. Okay, so now that I have all this wood and nothing to do with it, let's go ahead and trash that, that that's, that's useless, I don't really need that. Well, at least I don't need this. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and give you an example of what you can do. Okay, so unlike the health, if you do leave your game and come back, you will still have the same number of an item that you put in. You will still, I will still have 999,974 wood once I come back to this game. See, I'm just going to go ahead and give you an example. Okay. Go ahead and play that on Bob's World. And now I have the same amount of wood. It's, it's still the same value. You can't hack. You can't use Cheat Engine to hack uh, how much damage your items do or how much uh, how how efficient they are. You can't really hack your efficiency, and you can't really hack uh, your defense. As far as I know, I'm not sure about that. Maybe someone else can try that out for me. I'm not. I mean, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try. To do that. Okay. There was just a simple tutorial.
tutorial on how you can hack Terraria using the simple program uh, Cheat Engine. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description for you to download Cheat Engine if you do not currently have it, and if you are looking to hack this game, I will also leave a link in the description for the Steam purchase of uh, Terraria. It's a very fun game, and I do recommend it if you have not played it yet. And you can do so many interesting things. Honestly, I I, I know I'm probably going to get some backlash for this, but I prefer this game to Minecraft. Honestly, it 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 works. It's very it's very well made game, and there's a, so much to do in it. So much. It wait, am I a woman? Wait, hold on. I am a woman. I am I am a bearded woman. Okay, so that's that's a nice way to that's a nice touch to end off the video too. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you've not done so. It really helps with the growth of this channel, and it helps support me, and it helps me to come back and do these videos every single day. Please stay tuned for the next video that I will release tomorrow at around 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you come back soon. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.